culture to folk performances and local celebrations. There is a phrase describing bravery in China that translates as climbing the knife mountain and diving into the fire sea. The country's male ethnic group take that quite literally. The male have adopted climbing a knife ladder as their unique folk skill. Here, male performers show crowds a bit of their craft. This short ladder stands 15 meters high, made up of 72 razor-edged knives. It is widely believed that by conquering this feat, all kinds of disasters will be averted. This is a regular performance in the park. All the performers here are from local ethnic groups. Taking a stroll here is a rendezvous with all 56 ethnic groups of China, a journey with more than enough distinct ethnic culture to enjoy for an entire day. Then 56 ethnicities, the majority known as Han, and 55 minority groups make China a fantastically diverse nation. And through the ages, each has developed its own customs and ways of living. Here, authenticity is top priority. Look around the wood buildings of the Yao, the older temple, the typical Dai Pagoda, the folk houses and the winged and rain bridge of the Don. These replicas of real scale recreate real places in these ethnic societies. Some architecture was even transported from the original area to ensure that it stayed true to the original style. A corridor bridge named Cha Tang Bridge in the Xie landscape area stands out from the rest. It was transported intact after being removed for a local water conservation project. The 72-meter long bridge has a history of over three centuries. 非常非常的宝贵Mongolians grow up on horseback. The bond between man and steed plays an integral role in their life. Mongolians love to prove their worth by showing off good horsemanship and archery. But don't forget, Mongolians have quite a knack for singing and dancing. This traditional Mongolian cup and bowl dance enjoys a lengthy reputation. Characterized by the sprightly rhythm and exquisite movements, it vividly reveals the people's attitude of enthusiasm, openness and honesty. Everywhere you turn here, there is something new to catch your eye. The Tujia are well known for a hand dance with over 70 ritual gestures indicating things like war, hunting and feasting. Then there is the Dai Peacock Dance or some Tibetan dance. Each performance displays these ethnic people's respect for peace, honesty and beauty. So there is plenty of dancing, which means there must be music. Bold, passionate and unconstrained love songs. 
With the ongoing Olympic Games, the park has also spared no effort in presenting national sports. Check out this interesting Tibetan tug of war. Why not try some traditional bamboo jumping with the Jingpo? Or have a go at top spinning with the Va? And some unique rhythmic gymnastics. Traditional festivals are an indispensable component of customs. China is home to over 1,700 festivals. Nearly two-thirds of them belong to ethnic minorities. In the Sword Letter Festival of Male Group, what might catch your eyes are not only the performance of climbing the knife ladder, but also the interactive section of making ziba, a traditional snack made of sticky rice. To taste the delicious food, you have to make great effort. And grinding up the Pao's flour from Hao piece, that involves a lot of strength and skills. One of the most influential ethnic festivals has to be the Dai Water Splashing Festival. During the celebration, people first go bathing to temples and then splash water to each other, showing their sincere blessing with splashing spray. Cheering, chatting, and laughing is everywhere, and a festive atmosphere pervades every corner. Locals believe the more water you splash, the more luck you bring. The park is prime space for experiencing the diversity of Chinese people. You don't have to be lucky to learn a lot. That's it for this edition of City Finder. Thanks for watching. I'm Lisa Jia. If you have any comments on our program, email us at cityfinder at ics.smg.cn and make sure you will join us the same time next Wednesday. Bye.